Alright guys, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, I haven't posted a video for the past 10 days or so just considering I have been on vacation, um, but I am back now and I figured for getting to 100,000 subscribers, I figured out what I'll do is uh, just make a video on my favorite card trick of all time, this is something I haven't really gone over, um, and anyways guys, here's what it's going to look like. Um, so to start off, um, I'm not going to perform, I'm not going to be... Uh, performing it, I'm just going to be kind of giving you um, the lowdown of what it's going to look like um, during the performance, but I will be showing you how to do it. So, um, basically, the trick will start off. You'll have the spectator shuffle the deck, um, and then you'll have the spectator put their card in the middle of the deck. You'll show them their card. Okay, you'll put it back, and you're going to have the spectator mix up a packet of cards. Um, they mix up the pack, and you give them the rest of the deck to mix up. So, their card is supposed to be lost in the middle of the deck somewhere. Um, and what you do is you take your hand in the spectator's hands and you put them underneath the table. So you have one hand under the table and you take the spectator's hand and you put that on top of your hand. And now what you're going to do is underneath the table, which is going to be underneath, it should be directly underneath the deck. You have both hands and the spectator will be pushing down on the deck with their other hand. And once they push down hard enough, the spectator will feel a card drop onto their hands and it's going to be their um, selection. So that is basically how the trick is going to work. And so to do it, this is what you're going to have to do. So um, the reason I said this is my favorite one is because it doesn't require any um, gimmicks. So you can use any deck of cards. So to start off, you can have the spectator shuffle up the deck. And if you can't have the deck signed, I would recommend having them pick the card face up. So this way, um, the spectator doesn't um, feel that like you forced any cards. So let's say uh, the spectator goes through. They pick a random card. In this case, they have the jack. All right, so if they picked it themselves, you don't really need to have them sign it unless you want them to sign it. Uh, but in this case, they have the jack. Now, what you're going to do is while they're holding the jack, you tell them make sure this is an authentic card or something like that, just as something to misdirect them. You're going to take um, one card on the bottom of the deck with your pinky and pull it down just like this. And all you're going to do is take that card, transfer it to a thumb break, and swing cut the cards. And you can tell the spectator, go ahead and put the card back into the middle of the deck here. So you swing cut the cards, you have them place the card in the middle, and you put it, and you have them put it flush with the deck. This way you can um, have a reason to push the card forward with your other hand like this. And what you're doing is you're going to be dropping this random card as you're pushing the deck forward. You say, look, your card's in the middle. You turn the deck toward the spectator, and all I did was just drop that top card onto the deck. So the spectator sees their card, they think it's still the top card, and you can just push it in with the rest of the deck, come back, square it up. So the spectator now thinks this is their card, but in reality this is just some random card. So you have them, or you just go ahead and you look, you say, look, I'll push this card in the middle, go ahead and mix this pack up. So the spectator thinks they're mixing up the deck over here. Now what you do with your left hand is, um, now you need to be sitting down for this trick to do to work. You can be standing up, you might have to do some more side of hand, but um, if you're sitting down, all you have to do is place the deck, take it and put it kind of under the table, and just kind of thumb that top card off into your lap. So you're sitting down now, this card is going to be in your lap, and as soon as the spectator is done shuffling these, you can have them shuffle the rest of the pack and say, look, go ahead and lose the deck in here so you can dribble, mix up the deck, have them mix up the cards as much as they want. So now at this point um, in the trick, the deck is going to be shuffled and this card is still going to be in your lap. So in order to get it into the spectator's hands, what you're going to do is let's pretend this is um, the entire table. So my hand is going to be, this is the top of the table. Under, underneath, you're going to take one hand and you're going to hold the card against the top of the table just like this. So now pretend the bottom of my hand is the bottom of the table and underneath you're going to be holding the card just with your thumb and this way your hand is completely open just like this and you're going to have the spectator place their hand right on top of your hand so this way you can have the card against the table the spectator is not going to be able to feel anything in your right hand and all you have to do is now let's pretend this is underneath the table the spectator's hand is going to be directly on top of yours and let's assume that this card is still on top of my thumb being pressured against the table just like this. All you have to do is just remove your thumb and let the card drop into the spectator's hand. So you're going to be holding the deck like this and you tell your spectator with the other hand I want you to press down on this deck and you have them press down for three seconds or so 
and all you do is you just move your thumb away so this way the card drops onto their hands and this is actually one of my favorite tricks like I said because you don't need any special gimmicks um, the card literally is getting transported through the deck um, so it seems to the spectator so this is just an all-around great trick that you can perform anywhere um, as long as you have a table and um, anyways guys this is the video hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching